Glenn Greenwald accepted an award for Citizen Four, uh, which is great news. I was really happy about this. They won Best Documentary Feature. And uh, Citizen Four is about uh, the Edward Snowden leak, so of course it was an important film to win an award and get a little bit of attention. Now, apparently, after he went up there uh, to receive the award, um, this is what happened. Uh, as Greenwald, Poitras, and producer Dick Wolitsky were leaving the stage at the Dolby Theater, Harris, Neil Patrick Harris, who was of course hosting the show, quipped that Snowden couldn't be here for some treason. Okay. So people were not happy about that, Glenn Greenwald being one of them. Now, headlines make it seem like he was outraged, but he wasn't outraged. He was just kind of annoyed by it. Here's what he told the press. I'm just going to go ahead and treat it as a joke. I thought it was pretty pitiful, given Hollywood's fondness for congratulating itself for doing things like standing up for McCarthyism and blacklists. So to just casually spew that sort of accusation against someone who's not even charged with it, let alone convicted of it, I think is, you know, stupid and irresponsible. But I'm trying not to make too much of it, although I'm not succeeding. I like that last part he added, right? Yeah. That makes him a lot more human. He's like, look, I'm annoyed by it. I don't want to be annoyed by it. I don't want to make a big, big deal out of it. But you ask me, what, do you, what am I going to do, right. right? Exactly. Okay. No, and Citizen Four totally deserved it. I mean, it was the second best documentary made this year, mm -hmm. right after Mad as Hell, of course. Okay, now. <laughs> Apparently, it's going to be on HBO tonight. So. Yes, and I'm looking forward uh, to having everybody see it. Now, uh, and Glenn Greenwald is a great fighter uh, for these causes, and this is the part where I would normally say, okay, it's just a joke. I got to be honest with you, it bothered me. Yeah. It, it really grated on my nerves when Neil Patrick Harris said that. I was like, oh, funny, huh? He, he's treasonous. They just won the documentary for that, so why don't you get off his ass? Yeah, I, I think you should calm down. So I love Glenn Greenwald, and I'm very, very passionate about uh, the NSA leaks. I'm very supportive of, Ed of Edward Snowden. I don't think that he should be exiled in Russia because of his whistleblowing. But nonetheless, Neil Patrick Harris is not a political commentator. He's there hosting the Oscars, and he's making a joke. And so we have, we give a lot of passes to comedians for telling jokes, and this is an example of that. Even if it's something that m you might be sensitive about, you got to let it go no. because it's comedy. No, uh, I think we put him in prison. <laughs> <You're ridiculous. laughs> okay, no, uh, of course. Look, I, I think I'm biased. Uh, I'm telling you my visceral reaction mm -hmm. when he said treason. I was like, oh god damn it, man! Not like here. Here's a, a rare moment where it's being recognized, like oh, what this guy went through to tell us about all this. And then a funny man here with his jokes comes out and like, oh, yeah, I remember this guy committed treason. Ha, ah, got you. And look, I know, I know he didn't mean it like funny. that. Yeah. I know. And he probably didn't even write the joke. Somebody wrote that. And of course, right? And he gave it to him and he delivered it. I don't know if he was comfortable or uncomfortable. I, I probably read way too much into it. I sensed he was slightly uncomfortable reading it. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm making that up. <laughs> okay. Uh, but... And there's, of course there's no consequence, it's a joke, and it's a joke I didn't like. But I gotta tell you, I didn't like it, it bothered me. Okay, well you're allowed to be bothered, but he's also allowed to make that joke. And I have to be honest with you, I kind of found it funny. I was like, hmm, that was funny. I get that it's a play on words. Yeah, I thought it was a clever play on words. And look, he's not a serious political commentator. Okay, again, context matters. So if it were some politician making a joke like that, and you know that they seriously, secretly believe that, then, or maybe not so secretly, publicly believe that, then it's not so funny. But if it's Neil Patrick Harris who's trying to be a goofball during the Oscars, you know, making those jokes, then it's fine, it's harmless, it's comedy. You know, I, I figured out, as you were talking, why it bothers me. It, it's not just that it's, I'm biased and I think it's an important issue and, hey, don't make fun of my issues, right? right? Um, because people make fun of my issues all the time. I'm pro-immigrant and Sean Penn made that joke, we just defended him, right? So. No, um, I'm an immigrant, so I'd be very pro-immigrant, right? So, no, it's that it seems like it's picking on the powerless. 